underway. Oh! oh! Bookley has gone down once more. Vernon has gone with him. Both riders back on the track. So that is great to see. Here we go. Oh Bookley just about to get back in. And the race gets back underway. That's it. When the race is close together and the wheels are tight and everyone's fatigued, it's, it's a lot going on. Kieran Champion and Team Sprinter, he's made it to the final four of the elimination. This is pretty impressive. With two crashes. This is amazing from the Dutchman. Vernon is going to keep himself in the race. Bibic might hold Viviani off. And Viviani is not going to win three in a wow. row. Bronze goes to Italy. That was a surprise. I thought he looked really good. Can he hold off Ethan Vernon? Final lap of the men's elimination. And the strength of Ethan Vernon over the top, down the back straight. He can park it up now, put it into park, probably even reverse if he wants to. Gold medal in the men's elimination, Ethan Vernon. Wow. And here he is, gold medal for Great Britain. Harry has one hand on his fifth straight world title. So Brayson from the front, slowing it down. Can Lebrayson make it two from two and seal the title for 2023? Gold medal already in the pocket for Harry this week in the team sprint. They got the better of Australia, reversing that result from the previous year. But now it's all about individual performance. Big gap now being given, though, from Nicholas Paul. You've got to be careful to allow a man like Harry Lovelace that amount of space. Because look at him go down the back straight. Nicholas Paul has the speed closing in on Harry Lovelace. It's not going to be enough, though, because Lovelace is just too good. Fifth straight World Championship gold medal in this event. Incredible. Superman, Harry Lovelace. It's a momentum of a race, exchanging that momentum throughout 120 laps with sprints, and then whichever team has the highest total of points by the end of the race wins. All bunched up at the start, 120 laps, sprint every 10, 82 laps to go. Big move from Barker over the top. 81 it is as they change the bell. And Great Britain changing perfectly. Big move from them down the back straight. So that's enough for them to get another five points. Another one from Great Britain down the back straight. Poland, then Australia. I think it's going to finish in those that order. 40 laps to go. Another five points. They'll extend their lead. And you've got a scenario here where Great Britain have a lead of four points to France. And they're coming into the final lap in third position. USA go into the final lap in the front. Then it's France. Australia down the back straight in third. Great Britain in fourth. Poland in five. Ten points are going to go to France. They are going to move up to 22 points. Australia pop over the top. Great wow. Britain take gold on 28 points. Australia oh the silver medal on gosh. 25. Then it's France on 22.